Hey, what's up everybody? In my last video, I was covering gaming on Linux and I went through all these games, but at X4, I couldn't launch it. And so I wanted to make a video on how to troubleshoot when your game won't launch in Steam. Let's go ahead and get started. So when I went to launch X4, I click play and just nothing happens. So it tries to launch and instantly exits. No signs of any errors or anything, which is really odd because X4 is a native Linux game and it's designed for Linux and everything always works for me. Uh, but sometimes Omarki can be funny because it's running Wayland and Hyperlin. And so not everything is designed for that. And that's sort of the first thing to look out for. So one thing we can do is, is we're in the console here and we can go to like local share steam and you can just hit tab to complete these directories if you need to. And so you see here, here's a steam directory. And if we type find and then dot for this directory, and do minus m min and then minus two. This is gonna show me all of the files that were updated in the last two minutes. And so if we add a grep i log here, then we can see, oh, okay, so we got this logs directory. And so if I go to logs, this is one of the best ways to troubleshoot if something didn't launch. And we can say uh, less console linux.log and we can use shift G to go to the bottom. And so the bottom is just the most recent logs. And so you can see here, match this up with my clock, 17, 19, 17, 18. And so the game tries to log some things about the game overlay renderer and some fork messages or whatever, but there's nothing here that is really a smoking gun. And so oftentimes here, you will see an error that's fatal and the game will give up and you can sort of get it troubleshooted right from here. So the next thing we can do, though, is we can go and we can go back to our home directory and go to like local and then share and steam. And in here, we're actually going to have the downloads so that we can check that out. So if we go to steam apps here, uh, we'll see something. Let's look for X4 uh, and see what pops up. OK, and so there we go. So we have common and then X4 foundations. And what you'll see here is that this 72 megabyte file here, well, that's the binary. Uh, you can type file X4, elf binary, 64 bit, da da da. So what we can do here is we can try and run it without the Steam launcher and see what happens. And if you see this, it says failed to initialize SDL2, Wayland not available. And so there's sort of our smoking gun that we're using Omarki and it's Hyperland and Wayland and our game is not compatible with it. So we saw like Factorio had a Wayland option. Well, X4 doesn't. And I actually believe that this is probably a Omarki thing. Uh, if we go here and grep uh, for SDL, we'll see right here actually. So default Hyperland environments, we have the environment SDL video driver set to Wayland and what that means is, is like we're overriding a variable and we're setting it to Wayland. And this is a Omarki specific thing. So if you're on another Linux distribution with another window manager, everything I showed you probably like just worked. Uh, in this case, because we want like the newest, best and the fun tiling window manager, we sacrifice some of the compatibility with the older programs. And that's just kind of par for the course. So we can fix this though. And let me see if I can bring this over here. So what we do have is we have in the Omarki tracker here, you can find a lot of help because you can search through the issues and figure out who has ran into this before, et cetera. And so we see like somebody had a problem with the Elden Ring launcher. Now, Elden Ring's a little bit different because I'm pretty sure that runs through Proton uh, and we're running natively, but there's this line here which says unset the SDL video driver and put the command in there. So what we can do is, is we can go to our X4 foundations, we can go to properties and then in launch options, uh, we can take this and then Omarki, they have like the universal cut and paste. Uh, so what you can do here is you can highlight this and do super C and then go back to this and do super V. And that just makes it easy to cut and paste no matter what you're in. And so if we do this, we're removing that, hey, only run this as Wayland config so now it can fall back to X11 or XCB, uh, one of the two. And so if we click play now, what we'll see is, is it's gonna launch 
and I actually did this a little bit before too, and we're going to get a black screen. So not ideal. And again, this is because of another thing we're doing, which is we're running a tiling window manager, which wants to control the size of the windows and how they're output and rendered. And so if we go back to our other thing here and just say PSAX rep X4, uh, we can find X4 there and then do a kill dash nine, five, seven, eight, like that. There we go. So we killed it. So now we're back. And there's one X4 specific thing we can do here is after the command, we'll add the dash windowed. And I might have had that in here earlier in the video, but if we add that in there, this will make it so it's going to start in window mode. And then we can control it using Omarkey because uh, it lets our Hyperland config actually do that. So we'll close that and see what happens here. And so with these launch options set, uh, we have dash windowed, unset SDL video driver. We should be able to play this now. Let's see what happens. So we'll click launch here. And then it's going to go ahead and launch in a window rather than trying to be full screen. There we go. And now it's loading up. Oh, and there's the screen right behind our Steam window. Okay, and so I can do Super F here. And Super F will make this so it's full screen. There we go. And now we are loaded up. So it turns out Linux does run X4, especially because X4 was launched for it. And you can see here, uh, I don't have any games open yet. So uh, let's just load a tutorial real quick just to see this play out. And we're loading and this seems uh, about comparable to Windows speed in terms of like uh, how it's playing. So uh, the hold times, etc. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and just really quick, I'm gonna go to settings here and just check our display settings. So. We have the graphics on high, texture on high, shadows on high, everything on high. Uh, so that all looks good. And that's what you'd expect for a 5080. And then for display settings, uh, we are at 4K or even, well, yeah, technically we're one pixel below. Uh, so normally 4K is 3840 by 2160 and we're uh, 3839 by 2159 with the full screen on Omarkey there. And we have our output selected uh, in this case, I'm still recording at 30 FPS, but on my screen, it's going to be much smoother. Begin and there we go. Let's, uh, this tutorial does not let me immediately fly. So let's just do this. Here we go. So we'll start a brand new universe now and see how this goes. You can also see that unlike the old Linux joke, the sound works, works great. I can hear it well. You can probably hear it in the video. Uh, everything's good there. So. Yes, Linux users do have audio. All right, and here we go. So everything's looking good. 4K. System. Morning star. And we got our ship. And X4 is a very intense and demanding game in terms of system resources. So people are always looking to upgrade their systems to support this, and especially at 4K resolution. So uh, this is looking great. All right, so we're in, and let's go ahead and use the transporter room. And we'll go to the dock here. There we go. And hopefully I can get in a ship real quick here. So, here we go. And let's go ahead and dock, or undock, rather. All right. Here we go. So yeah, this is awesome. This is uh, fast, responsive. Everything's looking good. Uh, graphics look great. There's the ship going away. Let's uh, see if we can keep up with him. I don't know if we can. We're going to engage our hyperdrive. And so there we go. I had to stop playing because otherwise this video would just turn into me playing X4 and I wanted to stay on topic with the Linux troubleshooting vibe. So X4 works, it works on Omarkey, it works under Hyperland. Uh, it doesn't run native Wayland, but if we delete that variable, it'll still be fine and everything looks good. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or anything or any sort of tips on troubleshooting or making things work with that, but I think we've solved it. So if you're working on Wine and Proton, it kind of like always just works. And if it's Linux native, you might need to do something like that, but uh, it wasn't that hard. It only really took one cut and paste at the end of the day, and we didn't have to troubleshoot it too deeply. But I hope you learned something with like some of the commands and where the files and folders are in case you were looking at that. So until next time, I'll see you.